Hey kids, Mr. Flo here, hope you're well. Here I am on this absolutely beautiful summer's day. I've been riding this, the Zero SRF, for a few days now. And uh, I thought I knew pretty much everything there was to know about electric bikes. But this one has surprised me in a few ways. So stick around and stay tuned, and I'll tell you the three things that have surprised me about the Zero SRF. Okay, the Zero SRF then, an amazing electric bike. These machines are getting more and more viable now. This is almost doable as an everyday bike. Not quite, because the range still isn't quite there. It still takes a little bit long to charge if you haven't got the fast charger, and it's still a little bit expensive, in my opinion. This bike is about, well, depending on which uh, website you read, anywhere between about 18 and 20,000 pounds still. The range, officially, according to the EU, it's about 120 miles, but actually, if you ride it hard, you're going to get about 90 miles out of it. A little bit too little. And uh, charging up, if you're doing it at home in your usual electricity supply, then you're looking at something like eight or nine hours for a full charge from flat. With a fast charger, well, you're going to get 90% uh, in less than an hour. But there aren't that many fast chargers about. So, they're getting better all the time, but not quite there yet. That said, there are things about the bike that is absolutely brilliant. Now, I've ridden, as I say, a few electric bikes before, and uh, I'm really comparing this against the, another Zero model that I rode this time last year and infamously fell off of, <laughs> which was the Zero DSR, and I thought that was a pretty good bike. But this bike, the SRF, is better in so many ways. And three of those ways are so good, I thought it was worth making a video about. So stick around and stay tuned. But I'm it's busy out here today for some reason. Nicely done, sir, in the red car, pulled right out in front of me. That wasn't because he couldn't hear me, that was because he didn't look. Anyway, so the first thing that surprised me about the SRF, compared to the DSR and in fact other electric bikes that I've ridden, is the weight of the bike. It just feels so much lighter. Now even though it is actually a relatively heavy bike, I'll stick the number on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head how much it does weigh. But it's in the sort of heavy 200s. It's up there with things like big adventure bikes. But actually, when you get on it, it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels really, really light. They've done some wonders with mounting the battery low down on this and made the center of gravity really low. And that makes the bike feel so, so much lighter. If I had to guess how heavy this bike was, you plonked me on and you said, okay, how heavy is that bike? I would say, I'd say this was a 180 kilogram bike. It doesn't feel dissimilar to riding my Street Triple in terms of weight. Now that is very surprising. The Street Triple is a very light bike. So yeah, that's the first thing that surprised me about the bike. Just how light it feels when you're riding it. Which one thing that might surprise you is that I'm using this camera again. And they've got it on the sucker on the screen. But this time, no, it is tethered. I did a, uh, a review on uh, my Triumph, Triumph Street Twin a while back. And the camera flew off and I got all sorts of criticism because I hadn't tethered it to the box. So it served me right anyway. You might be able to see, it's a little bit damaged now on the side of the lens. <laughs> but anyway, the camera still works fine, I'm glad to say. But she is now tethered, so don't worry about that. Hello, sir. Hello. So, to the next thing then, the second thing that surprised me about the Zero SRF. And I shouldn't have been surprised, really, because everybody says this about electric bikes. But having ridden one and exclaimed how amazing the speed is on these things before, what has surprised me about this bike, the second thing, is the massive difference in the riding modes. In eco mode, she rides quite nicely, it's certainly not slow. It does a lot of uh, that clever recovery thing that it does. So if you're riding it in town, it uh, ups the range a treat. In, ro in road mode, it goes really fast, it's fantastic. But you stick it in sport mode, and my goodness me, the thing is absolutely ballistic. And in a minute, if this white van moves out of the way and these cars are like, yeah, a clear run, I'll demonstrate. In a safe way. It's always a white van to stop play, isn't there? Oh no. I'll turn around. So I'll be beyond them forever. Let's give myself a clear bit of road. This is where that lightweight feel comes in again. I think coming that way. All right, so from a standing start, look, nothing behind. My God, it's absolutely ballistic. Woo! <laughs> oh, 
you don't get the impression from a YouTube video or from a GoPro camera just how fast, obscenely fast this bike is in sports mode. There's nothing on the road that's going to keep up with this from 0 to 80 miles an hour. It, you, you saw I had to hunker down and hold on there. The thing is so, so fast in sports mode. Now I know of course that electric bikes are quick because of the instant torque and everything else. But this bike is just something else, it really is. Massive grid inducing power. You wind it on and it feels, the best way I can describe it, is it feels like you're being fired out of a catapult. It's just a sudden wave of power and acceleration and it keeps on giving until basically you run out of balls. That's what happened there. I mean it would have kept going a lot faster but I was running out of road and the thing was getting fast. Unbelievable acceleration. So that's number two on the things that have surprised me on the Zero SRF is just its ballistic acceleration. Right, for number three I've got to check my notes. Right, got it. So number three, not so exciting as the acceleration etc, but nonetheless very surprising. I phoned up uh, Principal Insurance to get a quote, an insurance quote, ah, another white van, can you believe it? To get an insurance quote on this bike and I thought because it's a 20 grand bike brand new and because it's so flipping fast it'd be really expensive to insure. Would you believe they came back to me with a quote for this very bike, brand new one, for somebody in my situation, so with my no claims bonus, living where I live. Uh, they came back with a quote of £224, fully comprehensive, to insure this bike. Okay, I had a £350 excess, but that's not excessive. 240 quid to insure a bike of this value and this performance, I just think is absolutely amazing. So that's the third thing that surprised the hell out of me about the Zero SRF, is actually how cheap it is to insure. Now I would just add the caveat, all oh, transit man's turning off, excellent, is that not all insurance companies will insure electric bikes, because there's of course not much sort of provenance yet for how they do. But uh, principal insurance do, and on this bike, if you're me, then uh, 224 quid gets you fully comp insurance on this bike. I think that's just absolutely incredible. Okay, so there we have it. That's uh, three things that have surprised me about the Zero SRF. An amazing fun bike to ride. It looks beautiful as well, actually. It's a much nicer looking electric bike than any I've seen before. The ab work wonders with the dynamics, its handling, its uh, power delivery, the fact that it's now got traction control, lean angle sensitive ABS. I mean, if ever a bike needed it, it's one of these. So I'm really pleased to see that. Sadly, although I've had the bike for a week or so, I've not really had a chance to ride it thank you, as much as I'd like to. So I haven't been able to do a proper real world range test. I've not been able to show you the different charging options in practice. Maybe that'll have to wait for another electric bike video in the future. But uh, now I'm left once again having uh, just about to give this bike back to the nice folks at Zero with a very positive taste in my mouth about electric bikes. They're so close to being practical now. And they're certainly oodles of fun. Like it or not, electric is the way of the future. And although I'll always have internal combustion engine bikes in my garage, it wouldn't surprise me if in the next five years I don't have an electric one in there as well. It may well be one of these. Who knows? Well, Ollie, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed that. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, I don't just do bike reviews here on the Vissenden Flyer. But I do things in the garage about how to look after your bikes. I do monthly bike news reviews, I do monthly live streams, I do trips and tours at home and abroad, basically anything and everything to do with motorcycles, I'll try and bring it to you here on the Missing and Flyer. If you haven't done so already, it'd be fantastic if you'd hit that subscribe button, and that way uh, you could join me on the next video. Alright, that's it for now, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missing and Flyer, cheerio.